today we're actually going to be talking about how to help relieve your shin splints. If you find yourself sore, aching in the front of the calves, this one's going to be for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt. Welcome to my quick self-help videos where I share simple and easy tips on stretching and movement to help you improve your quality of life. Remember to share and subscribe. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Bradbury, family corrective chiropractor, and we're actually at GT Athletics today, joined by Coach Mercedes, and we're actually going to be talking today about some things um, in terms of shin splints. If you, if you suddenly increased your activity, yep. irritated the muscles in the front of your shins, the connective tissue, the bone, um, we're going to be talking about some simple things today that you can do for yourself and some things that you want to consider to help make you more resilient and get back to your routine that much faster. Right. And some things that I really noticed, first of all, is make sure you have good footwear. Yep. Right? Shoes do wear out. Yes. And it's, I mean, I look at the mileage in terms of 500, 800 kilometers and maybe time for a new set of shoes. Um, and if you suddenly increase the volume of work, yep. think about it as if you're working your bicep more all of a sudden, it has to adapt and may get sore in the right. process. Yeah. And so if you're pushing your limit, you got to build up that resiliency in the front of your shins. Yep. And some of the things that I think about are, you know, modifying your activities and whether that may be in the form of hopping on the bike yep. instead of actually running yep. right? and modifying um, a walk run routine versus, so if you're running, um, you know, run two lampposts, walk one lamppost. Yeah, ease into it. Ease into it. So we've covered the relative rest and we also want to do some stretching. I think the easiest way to start is just doing some basic stretches and remembering that you're, 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 the muscles bring your toes up to your nose. So they do one of these. Yeah. So I'm actually going to have you, um, if you want, sit on the bench and I'm going to get you just to shift down there and have a look at me. So bring your legs up. And all I want you to think about is, remember, it, it's these areas here. So you got your, your shin, you can feel the bone down here, and then you fall off the side, and you can feel these areas as really irritated areas. I think it's something you've struggled with in the past too. Yes, yeah. Now, all I want Mercedes to do is start simply by stretching. And what she's going to do is, we told you that what the muscle does, it brings your toes up to your nose. So she's going to do the opposite. I'm going to have you point your toes down. Perfect. And when you pause, I want you to hold it for 20 to 30 seconds, thinking about lengthening, breathing, and hanging out there. And this would be the most basic version to start. You're going to do that at least three times, and you're going to repeat that one to two times a day. I'm actually going to have you laying on your stomach for this next part. And what you're going to do is when I'm going to get you laid down right here. And all you're going to do with this one is you can come up to your elbows if you want, so you're comfortable. But what she's going to do is use the natural weight of gravity, point your toes back. And again, with this, you're going to hang out 20 to 30 seconds, and then you can relax, bring your toes up, point them to the ground. When you go into the relax phase. Yeah, like go ahead this. and do that. Perfect. So she gets a little break and then repeat 20 to 30 seconds, pointing your toes down. So that's version number two. And as she progresses to version number three, I'm actually going to have you come up to your knees. And now with this, my thought is I would stretch both ways. So I would stretch your calves as well as the fronts of your shins. Right. And so what you're going to do is you can start out like this, if you like, just with toes up and hanging out. You may start out simply with 20 seconds, but remember, this is going to be the most weight going down the more advanced version. Now you're going to do one of these and point your toes back. And again, you're starting 20 to 30 seconds and repeat that two to three times, multiple times a day. This is going to be something really useful as well. And Mercedes is a soft tissue ball. And one of the things that I've noticed to work really well is actually just to get in there on the, the muscle bulk. And actually you can work your foot back and forth um, or you can roll your leg up and down. You want to go ahead and show everybody how we do it? Yeah. Just finding the part that feels a little tender in there and taking the ball across it up and down. And you'll notice when she finds an area that's stiff and sore, um, she may even spend 20 to 30 seconds on it, breathing into it, hanging out there. And you can do this one at least once a day, loosening up that anterior compartment to get things moving and get those surfaces gliding better again. Now the last component is we're actually talking about doing some strength training. And all I would start with is a have you sit facing the camera. And remember, we talked about building up the resilience, um, making things stronger in terms of the front of those shins, those muscles. Now, one of the things that I find with the strength training, especially with the higher reps, you're going to do 20 to 30 toe taps. So remember, these are more endurance muscles. And with this one, um, what you're going to do is really focus on just curling your toes up, tap them down, 
And when I think about getting a pump in the muscles, think about more blood flow, groceries in, garbage out. Yep. And you can just go ahead and tap 20 to 30 reps multiple times a day. So in order to progress this one, what we've done is actually we grabbed a band and you're probably gonna do less reps with this, more in the range of 10 to 15. But what you're gonna do is actually anchor the band with the one foot and then curl that big toe up with the opposite. And you see that one side of the band's anchored while the other one is working to curl the toe towards the ceiling. And again, you're, you're working in the 10 to 15 rep range and you're gonna do at least two to three sets a day. However, I would start with just the basic body weight movement. The toe tapping is great in the higher rep range. Do that for a few weeks before you progress to this one here. So as you can see, there's a couple of things, relative rest, changing your routine, considering your footwear, riding something like the bike instead of running. And of course, adding in some stretching, making it a part of being consistent with your routine, and then doing the soft tissue work, and then doing the strength training and helping you become more resilient, putting those reps in over time. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in. Of course, if you found it useful, um, as I've shared with you before, we had a big mission in terms of helping people understand their health, understanding that they need more function for more health, and that their spinal health is vitally important in that role. It plays a vital role as well. So take a moment. Our only ask is that you can't do it alone. Take a moment to share it so other people can get the great information. Um, and if you know a friend struggling, grab the URL as well and uh, send it off to them. And uh, we've loved having you. If you've loved seeing us that much and joining us the next time, consider subscribing. So thanks very much and uh, we'll talk to you soon.